It's time for a screaming lesson. Name's Poppet, and I'm from the Nightfall server. Today's video, we're just going to be doing a joint up with some random people. Since my crew wasn't really active at the moment, I decided to do a JO with random people and show you uh, how interesting it is when you're with people versus solo. Because I guess I do a lot of solo content, and I don't really take advantage of the friendly content towards, you know, gamers that want to play along with other people online and together. So that's what we're going to do today. And we may get into some fishing if we have enough time. Because I did want to check that out and I already got a couple fishes right here. As you can see in the tank. So let's get going. I did learn something about the um, natural setting on joint up. So you see that blue bar that everybody wants to rack up so much? There's also a support bar. And then you also have a tank bar. I think it's a tank bar. I really don't know what it means by damage taken other than, you know, because that is something that tanks do. And we can just naturally click on those to switch it and the color will change. And so will your rating. So you'll have more support than damage or you'll have more damage than support. Or you'll have more tank than either of those two. And I forgot to do it in this video, but I'll make sure to do it real quick around the end just so that way you know you guys see how fun it is because I thought that was pretty hilarious I was like holy shit I thought it was just you know counting our DPS and we were gonna get like a reward but it actually counts our DPS our you know support and how well we also tank in the game so if you're not really gonna be there for your team you're just gonna want to focus on the damage but if you want to be there for your team you want to rack up the health the little support one and then you also want to take some of the damage so that way you know it gives you some more points and I guess because for me if you're if you're like me and you see these little bars you kind of feel pressure to want to do more but I feel like I was doing pretty good because I had plenty of support and I had plenty damage and it'll show around the end how much you've got it doesn't just say how much damage you've made And for a game, you know, that doesn't really have a lot of options to do when you're in a joint op, I, I thought it was pretty cool. Because now we can focus on other things and hopefully this will give support people a chance to feel pressure to do better and support. If you just want to trick yourself into doing, into that mental state, you know? Because you could take full advantage of this. Also, I did want to spoil something. So... Lynn has a three times hoist jump, and I think it's around the fourth jump that she'll do a regular double jump, and then you'll just kind of fall back into the flower. She takes a fair amount of stamina. What people say is not true. Like, she does take stamina. It's just, she doesn't take as much stamina when you do the smaller hits, like those larger hits that I've done. Those are the ones where you toss somebody up and then you throw them down. That's going to take a lot of stamina, but not a whole lot. It just takes a fair amount. Like I said, it's very balanced with Lynn, unlike the other weapons. You have a fair amount of stamina being used. And because the flower tends to hoist you, it just kind of holds you up like, you know, you're standing on a, like a pedal. And I think that's really cool, so I just love that. And it's only temporary. It's not going to last throughout the entire match. Much similar how Ruby's weapon is going to last only for a little while, and it's not going to ping the entire match, you know? And you can also have the flower on the ground, which will cause more damage, or you can have it up in the air just to have more, you know aerial control because then you can get higher and higher when the flower is higher and higher and I will say this you know I did want to flex about the support bar but I kind of let my teammate down as a supporter <laughs> and I feel so bad okay but to be fair on Nightfall everybody knows that supporters just absolutely suck so you always want to bring your own support weapon at all costs and I feel like shit because, you know, I really wanted to make this video be like, look at me, I'm such a better supporter. And my fucking teammate dies. And my other teammate is just like on the brink of death throughout the entire fucking match. And I'm just like, oh, fuck. But, um, yeah, back to uh, Lynn and her stamina usage. She'll only take a lot of stamina if you use the throw up one and throw down one. She'll also take a lot of stamina one when you take when you throw out that little orb with the flower. Like she can sometimes do that. I don't know how to trigger it properly yet, but she'll do that sometimes. 
And she also um, takes a lot of stamina when her flower disappears. Like, it'll just take an immediate ton of stamina. So she's not broken. She's real balanced. And her skill just makes it even more balanced. We're going to ignore that notification. So, like, so let's say you have Huma. Huma's going to take a lot of stamina. She is a bulkier weapon, and she does not have, you know, a hoist effect. She has a purposeful effect to burn and melt the ground. That's what her effect is supposed to be. Whereas for this one, you can stem it up like a little flower, or you can have it on the ground like a tiny little flower, and you could just take advantage of the three times hoist jump. And why I call it the hoist is because it just kind of holds you in the air as you, you know, do all your little damage and all that. And um, so something you do want to learn about him, is he can also attack Lin in the air. He hasn't done it throughout this match, but if you are like even three times up in the air or even four times up in the air, he can, his little jet's time to attack you and he will interrupt you and it's the worst thing ever because then you're just falling on the ground and you're also taking damage for the fall as well as for the hit. So she's not broken. She is very balanced. She's just different from the other weapons, which because she is the only limited, but she is also the only restricted limited. Like, we're not going to see her in the standards. We're not going to see her again. All the others, they can come back, but this one won't be coming back. And hopefully when the new aberration comes out, we get a poison effect because we have poison matrices. It would be fun to have that and take full on advantage of just poisoning the ever living shit out of somebody because then I could use my fire and then I could use Lin and then I could just use poison and I'm just like ah! because Lin will also help eat my fire and the poison even if I don't have the resonance I just need it to be a balance class and I hope it is because if this one's a DPS one then hopefully the other one will be like you know more supportive more tanky preferably tanky because we have very few tank weapons like we've got Huma as a tank weapon and then we got Rosie which is Meryl's weapon and that's that's it there is no other tank weapon for like a full tanks team aside from the SR weapon which would be you know the machine gun and the hammer things like that we have those but those are the SR weapons and people are really loving on the SSRs because not only do they do more damage, but they do have a lot more effects than the SRs. However, the SR weapons do have their own, like, you know, advantages. And you could take full on advantage of each of them. Because, you know, some of them will have certain perks. Like, the hammer, it can freeze you, it can knock you back, and it can wail on you. And that is what people just loved. I think that was taken away for some reason. But, um, yeah... You can take advantage of the SR weapons as much as you can with the SSR weapons. I don't know about the R weapons. I hated those throughout the entire game from the beginning. And um, I mostly preferred the SSR weapons, to be honest. I'm, so sorry. I'm seriously trying not to let these guys down. And I feel like I'm letting them down as a supporter. And as somebody who supports the support class, this is not okay. But it seems like, thanks to Nemesis with the spam heals, they've got it pretty much on lockdown. I haven't really seen Coco for a really long time, to be honest. But for the next joint op, I will be doing it with Randos. I'm just going to go with two support weapons, and I will be sporting Lin. But for the two weapons, I think I will be using Lyra and Zero. Hopefully, I could try to maybe use Nemesis and Pepper together. So that way you guys can see how fun it is because you get the vault resonance and then you also get lens help and then you've also got some support in there which is like three in one and like the best OP type of support class that we can, you know, rack up. So you're going to see all my other little support points, my damage points and my tank points as soon as this battle ends. See? I've got some good support! I love that. My support's not too bad. My damage was kind of, you know, tanking downward, but that's fine. Because I really just wanted to look out for my teammates on this one. And I really wanted to, you know, see if they were doing good. That's kind of all the time we have for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And hopefully you guys take advantage of those other bars. See you guys later. Sweet nightmares.